Yo, it's day 12. Today's topic is art. Art. It's a broad topic, but one I love because I love art. Even before I knew I was going to be an artist, I had a feeling that I would always want to work with my hands and build stuff. Maybe it was a, a kid thing, building stuff, you know, using your imagination to think of something and then build it. That's always been cool. When I was younger, my mom always tried to expose us to different things to make us well-rounded people. She took us to, you know, plays and concerts. And I especially love the museums. Museums are fantastic because it's just an assortment of beautiful things, curious things that people made you know and it's cool how people of different areas different times made stuff and how where you were uh you know the time period the culture how that you know got into the people and how it influenced their expression of art always has amazed me when I was younger, I think uh, I liked painting, but I loved a lot of stuff like movies and uh, wasn't much of a book reader. My brother was. I'm a slow reader because I have to think about, you know, I, I form pictures in my mind. And so I have to read when I read, <laughs> I, I constantly stop to make the scene in my mind. And it, oh, man. Well, my brother's a really big reader. And I love comic books because, you know, art pictures and stories it's, it's, it was an amazing time to be a kid where you had all this stuff toys were cool <laughs> you know it, it was all i think it's all art it's all somebody had an idea of something and they committed to it made it and somebody else can go wow i like that i want, I want to have that i like to so cool. I've, I like paintings, but I've always loved sculpture. And I think sculpture is just one of the most amazing things that you could take a block, like a block of stone, and chisel at it until it looks like a human figure. That's just incredibly cool to me. All right. John Lorenzo Bernini is my favorite. Man. But today, there's more art, I think, because would you say it's democratized? There's more, at, people have more access and two ways to make art, I guess. And computer, computers are doing a lot of heavy lifting, which I guess is a really good thing. I don't know what's gonna happen in the future with AI or not, whether an AI can make art, but that would be, that would be kinda cool. <laughs> just a creative AI that just makes stuff. I think it's all art. Everything you see right, is art. Food can be art. Somebody has to make it. They have an idea of what might taste good. And they're like, I think I could you know, make this. This could be cool. And they put it together and they serve it to somebody and somebody goes, this is fantastic. My mom's spreadsheets, they're, she tries to make them aesthetically pleasing. Like she, <laughs> she runs numbers and she tries to present them in a way that is both informative and nice to look at. So it, I guess it's all art and it is fantastic. And this was the most rambly video I've made. And I apologize, but I also don't because I love art. I love art. Let's appreciate it. <laughs> There's more to say, but I won't bore you. So I'll say ciao which is hello and goodbye, right? I'm starting, now I feel self-conscious. Anyways, bye. <laughs>